Welcome to Hamburg, the city which is home to Germany's largest seaport and is inhabited by almost 2 million people, with around 5.5 million people in the metropolitan area. Such a city obviously requires a good public transport system to function, and one of the key roles is reserved for the second oldest U-Bahn network in Germany, the Hamburg U-Bahn. Let's check it out. The first plans for a metro system in the city of Hamburg were presented by the two companies, Siemens & Halske and AEG. This system would consist of both elevated and underground sections. During the planning stage, even a suspended railway system, like Wuppertal, was considered. However, in 1906, Siemens and & Halske and AEG started construction on the circular route with branches, laying the base of the sections of the various routes we see today. On the 15th of February in 1912, on the day of the publication of this video, just more than 123 years ago, the first section of this network was inaugurated, with full passenger service starting two weeks later on the 1st of March. The ring line, which is nowadays mostly part of Line U3, was aimed to be at the same level, but with a cut and cover tunnel through the city center. But the biggest part of the route is elevated rail, or on an embankment. This is also how the network got its name Hochbahn which basically translates to High Railway. The network kept growing, and the various branches appeared. Later on, these branches were attached to newly built sections, and forming their own routes. One such route is Line U1, which was gradually formed from a branch line into a fully fledged line by its own city center tunnel. The U-Bahn kept following this pattern, gradually building out the network. Although, Line U1 also integrated an existing railway line that led to the villages Vamsen, Volksdorf, Waldorf and Großhansdorf. The development of the lines came in waves, wherein the focus on the ring line was clearly distinguishable before World War I. In for line 1, both during the interbellum and as a start of the new wave that came after World War II. During the Second World War, the U-Bahn was damaged by the RAF bombing campaigns. This resulted in a need for long-term reconstruction. Line U1's newest extension between Jungfernstieg and Mesberg formed the first new extension after the war. Line 2 was gradually built between 1965 and 1973, with the last extension during the 1980s and early 1990s. The last line to be built was Line U4, which was first opened in 2012. However, extensions are still being built. This brings us to the network of today. This is the Hamburg U-Bahn. The total network length is around 106 kilometers, and it uses a gauge of 1435 millimeters, better known as standard gauge. The trains are powered by a 750 volt DC third rail, and there are three depots. Let's now zoom in on the lines. We start with line 1, which runs between Norderstedt Mitte and either Olstedt or Großhansdorf. Line U1 passes Hamburg Hauptbahnhof to the south, and the sections to either Olstedt and Großhansdorf branch off at Volksdorf. Line U1 is 55.4 km long, making it the longest U-Bahn line in Germany. It has 47 stations. Then we continue with Line U2, which runs between Niendorf Nord and Mümmelmansberg. It connects to Line U1 at Jungfernstieg, and it connects to Hamburg Hauptbahnhof to the north. Line U2 is 24.5 km long and has 25 stations. Then we continue with line U3, which is a circular line which is basically operated like the circle line in London, with two termini. These termini are Wandsbek Gartenstadt and Barmbek. Line U3 connects to line U1 at Lübecker Straße, to line 2 and U4 at Berliner Tor, to line U1 at Hauptbahnhof Süd, and to line U2 at Schlump. In the north of the city there is also another connection with line U1 at Kellinghusenstraße.
and finally Line U4. At this moment Line U4 runs between Elbrücken and Billstedt. Between Jungfengstieg and Billstedt it shares tracks with Line U2. So at the moment the length of the line is 13.4 kilometers and has 12 stations. Of which 8.4 kilometers and 9 stations are shared with Line U2. It connects to Line U1 and U2 at Jungfengstieg, to Line 2 at Halpenhof Nord and to Line U3 at Berliner Tor but Line U4 will get an extension to the east. And this will replace the terminus at Billstedt for Horner Geest. The line will then split at Horner Rennbahn from Line U2. In this final stage, the length of the line will be 13.2 kilometers. It will still have 12 stations, but only 6.4 kilometers and seven stations are shared with Line U2 by then. This video about the Hamburg U-Bahn is part of an already 44 episode long series of videos of transport systems. I would love to show you many more in the future. Therefore it would be really helpful if you like my video and subscribe to my channel. Let's now take a look at the trains. The Hamburg U-Bahn's fleet of trains consists of two types. After the type DT3 left the fleet in October 2023, the oldest type active in Hamburg is the DT4. DT stands for Doppeltriebwagen although the later models consist of three or four cars. The DT4 was delivered between 1988 and 2006 and consists of four cars. The 126 units were built by ABB and LHB and are now mostly active on lines U1, U2 and U4. They are mostly coupled units, forming 120 meter long trains. The other train type of the Hamburg U-Bahn is the very modern looking DT5, which was delivered by Alstom and Bombardier in a consortium between 2010 and 2020. Alstom had previously taken over LHB. The 39.6 meter long units are made up of three cars and are fully walked through, making it the first of its kind in Hamburg. The DT5 operates on all of the lines of the Hamburg U-Bahn and is the only train type operated on line U3. On line U3, two units are coupled, forming trains of nearly 80 meters, fitting in the constrained platform length of 90 meters on this line. On the other lines, three units are coupled, forming trains of nearly 120 meters. There are 163 DT5s in Hamburg. So, how many people use the Hamburg U-Bahn? Across the year 2023, the Hamburg U-Bahn transported 244.5 million passengers. This breaks down into a daily ridership of around 670,000 passengers per day. So, what will the future bring for this network? Hamburg is building a lot of new infrastructure for its U-Bahn network, and even more is in the works. The first project to complete is the eastern extension of Line U4, which will run from Horner Rennbahn to Horner Geest. This extension has two stations and will be around 1.9 km long. The aim is that from the autumn of 2027, the current eastern terminus Billstedt will be traded for Horner Geest. And that is not the end for the extensions of Line U4. An extension across the Elbe is foreseen in a yet to be developed new district of Grasbroek. This will be the first time that the Hamburg U-Bahn crosses the river Elbe. The planning seems to be quite far in the works, with designs being made and the naming contest for the new station just finished. The new terminus will be called Moldauhaven. An opening for this section would likely not take place before the 2030s. And then there is the big one, Line U5. A completely new U-Bahn line is under construction in Hamburg. And also this line is making its way through the center. The section currently under construction is the section between Bramfeld and City Nord, connecting to Line U1 at Zengermannstrasse. This station will be adjusted to again maintain the high quality connections as seen on other parts of the network. By 2029, the first section from Zengelmannstrasse to City Nord should open, and the section to Bramfeld by 2033. Step by step, the line will be extended to its final station, the Volkspark Arena. The line U5 will be 25 km long, and it will have 22 stations. Major connections are foreseen at the aforementioned Zengelmannstrasse with Line U1, Hauptbahnhof Nord with Line U2 and U4, Stefansplatz again with Line 1, at Hohe Luftbrücke with Line U3, and at Hagenbecks Tierpark with Line U2. The line will avoid the already very busy connection point Jungfernstieg, as it is already served by three lines and some S-Bahn lines. Line U5 is aimed to fill the gaps in the system and bringing various other districts and destinations to the system. Another way the U5 will revolutionize the Hamburg U-Bahn is the introduction of automated driverless trains, as well as platform screen doors. And the trains that will be used for this will be the DT6 series, which will be built by Alstom. 48 units are ordered. 
with options for 326 more trains. In this order, two subversions are foreseen, with the units for Line U5 capable of driverless running, while for other lines, semi-automated units will be delivered. The DT6 will be 40 meters long, across four cars. On the existing lines, they will gradually replace the DT4. Another project is a new station on Line U3. Straße, which will be opened as an infill station. It should open in 2029. This is not the only project for Line U3, as the 90 meter long platforms will be extended to 125 meters, enabling three units to be coupled together. This, of course, will increase the capacity on Line U3. And that's it for the Hamburg U-Bahn. Click over here for my video about the Berlin U-Bahn. And as always, thank you very much for watching.